We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? We sent you after me. Former wife. And if you so much as heard a hair on Rosanna's head, I will put you in the ground. Yeah, okay. I'm having a conversation with a hired killer, but I'm supposed to relax. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Arlo wants my ring? Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. A ring's a lot easier to lose than a hand. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen. I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes.
You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? You're inclined to believe the word of a traitor. You realize he would have said anything to shake you from his trail. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial. Not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Jackass is
This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. I just hope I never turn out like that. Selling my soul for a fistful of bits. I ought to thank you for that. Keeping me on the straight and narrow. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. What was that? Waiting for this! Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Destination reached, Scylla.
outlaw. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Can we take care of Smashing glass. <laughs> Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Not a damned one! I'm a free man. There isn't a corporate snake that can hold down the inimitable Captain Irion. Supposed to be for the Groundbreaker, but... Getting shot tends to hinder one's delivery plans. <laughs> hey, who are you calling bootleg? I'll have you know these are 100% genuine stolen drugs. Because the board, in all their herpetological wisdom, will only sell the meds at a huge markup. Groundbreaker knows better than to pay board prices. Not when they've got me running for them. More importantly, they can't afford to. Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then, to the Groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late, then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. Thank you for what? I had this all squared away until you showed up and riled the pirates. And now, I'll be off. Good day, and do give my chilliest regards to Wanda. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark.
Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Move along. Rhythm's Purpleberry Punch. You wanna be... Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Byzantium Cap. You think the privy's gold-plated, too? This basement. If someone back home wanted to make a secret lab, they'd have to put it in a closet. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? 
Damn it. I knew this would happen. My what conspiracy? Let's talk about this. Please, I think there's been a crucial misunderstanding. Just give me a second to explain myself. If you still want to shoot me, at least it'll be for an accurate reason. If you came looking for some elaborate scheme, it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms, that I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. It's been missing for over two years now. They never reestablished contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? That ain't a shock. Board folks will lie to their own mothers if it preserves their paychecks. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. The board also has its brand to uphold. If you can't trust the brand, what else is there? Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. Fuck that. People are people and ought to stay the way they were born. They start trying to tinker with my blood, I'll bury them. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. I... Look, cold-blooded murder ain't easy on my spirits. But this... All this research, all these experiments... It's wrong. It's all void damn wrong. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? For the last time... No. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I'd better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. 
Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. That'll do, sucker. Now move along. The dock has a lot of work ahead of her. Tidying up and such. Processing data. It is, but my gun's been acting funny. Used to be, I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while, it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to, uh, never mind. What, girl, have you been touching my stuff? I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored, and I seen you leaning, and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. If you want to make modifications, just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. CNP chicken and potatoes. At CNP, we know our CNP. Not for the series? The hunt for the Wimbro? Pirate ship? I don't go in for docu serials. The bounty hunter who's been after them? Fuller?
Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. I like her, Captain. Let's go before we have to paint this office with her blood. I said get out. Don't look funny at the crew. Heard they toss folks out the airlock if they don't like your face. If there's no one to pay the hitman, then I'm pretty much in the clear. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Hey, I saw your name on the roster at Subway Salvage. Good luck out there. Heard the board rep got off by his own people. The docking bays? How sick is that? Yeah, about ten years back. That was before Bedford negotiated for a bigger office on the promenade. Rizzo's knocking out the bar. Eight feet on the six milk chocolate bar with caramel and sea free nuts in it. Hey there. Be seeing you.